let me get show you the files that I've done here. And I just shot a whole bunch of pictures, pretty much pictures of nothing, right? But they are, what I did is I sent my camera to take both JPEG and RAW at the same time. So in fact, let's look. Let's look at that. See, JPEG, here's the RAW. Here's the JPEG, here's the RAW. The same picture taken by my camera uh, within uh, you know, a few milliseconds, a few maybe 100 milliseconds of each other. Uh, but once in once as a raw file and once we created the JPEG. So let's put that away for now. We don't need that anymore. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to talk about is suppose you shoot both raw and JPEG files in your camera, and uh, but you when you go to import them, you only want to import uh, the raw files and not the JPEG. So how do you do that? Well, there, there are some settings in uh, Lightroom, and one thing you can do is go to Preferences, and um, you can uncheck under the General, you can uncheck this item here, Treat JPEG Files Next to Raw Files as Separate Photos. Just uncheck that, okay? And if you do that, watch what happens if we go to Import, Notice you don't see any JPEG files here. What's happened is that the, the um, JPEG file is kind of, uh, comes along with the NEF. So uh, it's, it's called a sidecar. And uh, that's okay, it makes the file a little bit bigger. But, uh, but that's one way to do it. Now here's another way, I'm gonna cancel this. If you set your preferences, to uh, check this item right here, treat JPEG files next to raw files as separate photos. Now let's, now let's look what happens when we hit import. We go to import and we go to our uh, bunch of test files here. Okay, so this is, I think, uh, what a lot of you are seeing, JPEG and NEF, same, you know, basically same file, okay? It's the same picture, JPEG, NEF. JPEG, NEF, JPEG, NEF. Now, <laughs> I want to reiterate again that I did not take these pictures um, to, uh, as a photographer, we're taking pictures, but only just for the, um, I never shoot JPEG, so I needed to set my camera to shoot both RAW and JPEG. And I just, you know, it's like eight o'clock at night and I had nothing special to shoot, so I just went around my little office and just continued shooting pictures of pretty much nothing. So how do we just get the raw files? Well, what we can do is go down to the bottom of our middle portion of our import screen to where we have the sort, and instead of capture time, set it to I think, file type. How's that work? Yeah, look at that. So now all of the JPEGs are together, and then all of the NEFs are, okay, raw files. Sorry, I should have said that. I have a uh, Nikon D750, and at the moment, um, Nikon labels, or not labels, but the, uh, the uh, file extension, when it creates a file on your camera that's a raw file, is NEF. I guess the N stands for Nikon. I don't know what the EF stands for, it doesn't matter. Does not matter. But the point is these, these NEFs, these NEF files are all raw files. So what I can do is I can scroll back and go, let me find the last of the JPEGs. And it looks like right here. Yeah, that's it, okay. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna go all the way to the top. I'm going to hold down the shift key, the shift key, and then click again. Now what happened is I've selected all of the JPEG, JPEGs, right? Okay, see how this is selected, nothing else below that is selected, none of the NEFs, none of the NEFs are selected. And then I'm gonna go to, I think you can go to any one, but let's go all the way to the top, and let me uncheck this guy right here, and look what happens. All of the other ones are now, all the other ones that I selected, in other words, all of the JPEGs are unchecked. 
but the NEF files, the raw files, which are checked, which means that um, I can now simply hit the import button. So I'm going to import. And if everything works the way I expected to, and it looks like it is, then we should have only only NEFs. And to prove that, let's uh, let's go to the folder view here. Okay, and here's you know here's my folder, 72 pictures. Yeah, I had 144 pictures total, but half of them were JPEGs. So now I only have half of them. And which half do I have? Well, I have the any, I have the raw files, okay? All of these, I can go through this now. They're all raw files. Just to prove it, let's go all the way to the end. Raw file, okay? So if you're shooting both JPEG and raw files in your camera, and you want to import into Lightroom only the raw files, that is the way to do it. Okay.